Hi, it's Steve again. Um, I've got a new truck to show you. I just picked it up yesterday. Um, we've got RS22 REC. Uh, so it's a DAF XF530. Uh, it's, the bodywork um, is actually American body on this. Um, it was made in um, America by Millers and was shipped over here and it was put together by Boniface Engineering who supplied the underlift and uh, the winches and whatever. So it's aluminium body um, and it's weighing in actually uh, 19 and a half tons. So it's actually three ton lighter uh, than the old truck with the aluminium wheels we've had fitted, Duro Bright wheels. So we've got three tons saving with this vehicle. You say it's a 530XF, same engine and as that as my other truck. Air horns um, at the front, which uh, my other truck didn't have. Slightly different uh, shade of white. It's more creamy than white. So just taking you around it now. 90 tonne gross train weight. The other DAF I had was 80. I'm not quite sure what the difference um, between the two, because they're all um, DAF axles. So we've got um, a nine tonne axle at the front and two 12 and a half tonne axles at the back. Um, you say single drive like the other truck and, and the tag axle, which makes it more maneuverable for us getting round. It's quite narrow to what I'm used to. Um, so we've got a little bit um, jiggling around really, getting um, my equipment in and uh, what have you. Right, let's go have a quick look in the lockers and uh, see what we've got in there so far. Okay, right, the first locker we got on the near side, double door locker. Uh, we've got a couple of trailer boards. I've got a spare one at the top, um, wired in, then my cordless one. Also got my um, impact uh, guns charging up, little charge station there. Um, it comes with a battery pack, 1224. I brought my extra bolts and that round for my other truck and I've got commercial sockets there. So I've brought my own tools across. A couple of breaker bars and that there. A couple of fire extinguishers in the corner. And they've given you some ladders, which is quite handy because so you'll never get to that top uh, trailer board. Also a good touch really, people thinking a bit about safety now. We've got uh, cones on the near side uh, of the truck rather than the off side and there's a place for them to to be stored safely. Right. Next look we got, um, as you say, it's come with a creeper board and some forks, lifting forks and some pedestals. We've got some offset pedestals here, medium and high, I mainly use these for rear lifting. And um, yeah, the chains we got, got a couple of heavier duty chains and the, the slightly lighter rated chains. These chains here are not lifting chains, these are just sort of securing chains um, to, to um, chain down the, the axles uh, onto the lifting forks, I should say. And some uh, tension is there. Right, what we got in the next lock here? This is my tools uh, I've, I've put in here in the drawers. Um, a little bit smaller than what I'm used to actually. The, this um, toolbox um, is custom made, this one, but you say the way the, way the body's designed, um, you couldn't really get a bigger toolbox in there. So um, yeah, that's what you just have to make do really. I would like to put all my tools in one, my breaker bars, perhaps I might have to move a few things around, make things a little bit more um, easier for me to uh, work with. Got aluminium wheeled stands, which are nice and light compared to my steel ones. And uh, this is a cleaning station we got. Quite nice, warm water, soap, and um, paper towels. And Stephen Phil put plenty of Susie lines and different adapters. And here we've got um, little test point adapters to go on the uh, air tanks and um, air dryers and what have you. Plenty of um, electrical Susies and uh, the rare Susie. I've got me guns down here, but I think I'm probably gonna have to move them a little bit. I prefer to uh, have them near, near the toolbox locker, really, but me talk uh, multiplier got down there that's that locker then moving to the back yeah it's coming with a um cordless torch you say we just got a few um, trays um 
for me straps and some um, WD and uh, some blue gloves and uh, a bit of duct tape and some rags up there. Okay, what we got in this locker? Right, this is the control locker. I can operate the boom and the winches from the buttons as well as the uh, remote in the cab. And also um, this um, wired in um, remote, if the remote battery should pack up or anything. Just showing you around the back of the truck now. As you say, it's mainly just show you what in the lockers this is really. Just gonna go through here. Okay, we've got two 20 ton um, bottle jacks. Got some wheel chops, plenty of wood there. I've got some bigger, um, heavier duty sleeper wood behind the cab. Here there's a, like a little tray where the ballast box are. So I've got some bigger timbers there. And I put my screwing toe and eyes uh, in the locker here. And I just found out that these um, top drawers do move up and down a little bit, so I can alter them a little bit, make things a bit more easier. All right, what have we got in this locker? Right, this is uh, the locker. Uh, it's got the wheel grids in. Mainly, we don't use them very much. It's mainly for coaches with independent suspension and uh, they haven't got axles. A little bit heavy to, to operate, so I'm gonna have to get these uh, out in a little bit and go through them, make sure everything fits in and I'm quite familiar how it all fits together before we actually do it uh, live on the job. Make sure everything fits together nicely. Okay, let's have a look in this locker here. We've got um, a ladder, we've got a broom and shovel on that and normal kit, wrecker kit with a saw. This is a um, fifth wheel coupling adapter, half shaft covers, chain tensioner, a couple of smaller um, scaffold poles, give it more leverage. You say I've got some holes here actually, so uh, I might um, try and use them for move the forks around a little bit when the other two uh, pairs of forks comes. Put some forks there that may not be used so much. That side gives a bit more room. Right, we've got some nice um, lightweight snatch blocks actually. As you say, they're made in America, these ones, by looks of things. And um, yeah, we've got four of them there. Plenty of chains all, all rated, so we know exactly what um, safe working load of them are. There's some sh nice shackles, got plenty of shackles and that. It's like Steve's dropped a spare toe and eye in for us there. That's quite handy. An extra toe and eye that side. Just got some bag of rags I've put in there for now to work out where everything goes. Yeah, nicely uh, finished off uh, these lockers actually, I must say actually, they feel very solid and that. They're a little bit narrow to what I'm used to, but I've just got to get uh, a bit used to it a little bit. Yeah, plenty of um, slings and straps and say all rated or so we know exactly what the safe working load we're putting through them. Some granules and uh, some um, mats and that to absorbent mats. There we go, that's what we've got in the locker so far. I've got a move a few things around and get it how I how me liking so uh but you say I'll probably jump up in the cab shall we show you what's in here very similar to my other cab it says the DAFX 530 it says the last of the these cabs is a new version of uh DAF cabs are in there now but they still don't um produce any more horsepower this is the biggest engine they do a 530 I've got double bunk here um, some nice seat covers actually, I like these actually, they're not the, the DAFs underneath, but yeah, these are quite, quite nice actually, it makes the DAF quite well. Yeah, so we've got double bunk here, fridge, plenty of storage space. We've got two cameras here actually, this is a camera that obviously Boniface uh, are fitted, I'll take it. And uh, we've got Pioneer Stereo, we've uh, also got um, a navigation set now when I can know how to work that and also we got a quite nice four speaker stereo uh, we've got big old mode control here actually but it is rechargeable unlike the other one which I had to keep putting batteries in every uh, month or so so that's rechargeable which is quite nice and this is the little control um, panel so it's actually Boniface Miller it's saying here so the body is a, Mi a Miller um, body made in America not sure if I mentioned that but you say Boniface uh, put it all together over here and the underlift 
a little controls it yeah as you say it's all camera operated so as you say like the other trucks when i indicate left um i get a view of uh any blind spots to me left and um, same to me right yeah very pleased with it actually so far you say it's a three ton lighter than the other truck so it does uh pull pretty well really 513 she's going at um 19 and a half tons you say on here actually we've got a plate here it actually says 90 tons gross train weight so this is under 20 tons this is at 19 and a half so you're sort of up to 17 and a half tons we can actually lift and tow this vehicle so it's a little bit more than the other truck I'm not, the other truck was uh 80 so i'm not sure why this is 90 perhaps a different setup with wheels i'm not, not quite sure but it's a so it's deaf um axles on there so it's, but it's actually saying 90 ton gross train weight yeah so we're gonna hopefully get it out and do a bit of filming with it now i think that'll do us for now I just say i'll probably uh when i start filming a job i'll probably add a few more things that i found uh found out about the truck but there we go thanks very much for watching as always and subscribing to the channel yeah and welcome to my new truck and please look out for us on the road say so it's rs22 rec the other truck was rs20 so um stuart the new driver's getting in that today i believe swapping into that so yeah thanks very much for watching